Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder, Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacino. So Tesla tried to get a rally on today. Couple nice double reversals, one being a double top, one being a double bottom. Uh, starting to get a little more bearish with uh, this price action based off of today. But again, as always, we analyze both sides of the market and still holding the daily rotation zone uh we already identified those key levels let's just go over the intraday stuff price action so we already identified we had our 747 area then we had 749.44 coming up there here's the opening bar it had some momentum no real uh nothing with the option play by the way i got a question weekly options where are the weekly options this week well with the monthlies on the last week of their expiration so once a month they turn into the weekly so there's no weekly series this week there's three weekly series and one monthly series so the weeklies will be again next week and the week after and the week after etc but when it's the monthly expiration which expires uh you know this fraud well technically Saturday, but the last day of trading is through to close on Friday. Those become the weekly since there's a week left in the options. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for the options right now, it's a September monthly options that I would be watching for the potential volume and gamma play. So it went through to 749.44. Now immediately there was no pausing bar right there. The only area I had was this five minute. There's no longer term pausing bar. So I ratcheted up there, which just reinforced, we already identified the 754 area from yesterday. And the, I guess it was a couple, it's been a couple days, but we had 753.59 through uh, 754.26. See, poking up there, poking up there again. Divergence, so lower low in the RSI, higher high in the price action against this key area of cluster and this this is technically a double top pattern this was not okay and since that was not this does qualify as a double top versus a triple top now if this had been a double top and then we had another top it would have been a triple top but this was a double topping pattern let me sorry move that dot out of the way it would probably zoom in would help people so and it's remove it's reversing this move so it's reversing a nice move so using the double targets and i went with the more aggressive targets so the conservative would have been on this side aggressive this side they're nearly the same if you're in doubt use conservative i went with the aggressive since it was still early in the day first target 745 19 pausing there coming back this would be stop reduction but this did not stop it out again the area i watch is to a return if it does pull back from the base and the candle bodies higher than the base well the candle bodies higher than the base it gave a wider range but that would have been up to about 750 67 area watching for a pullback we got that then it continued the sell off all the way down uh giving us another by the way another reason just pointing this out even with this was the opening bar so i was just keen watching this with this uh double top pattern and the move down all right we're going to retrace the open and possibly slightly more that became my game plan once we hit that target the only thing i can do then is go with the next harmonics the forward harmonics so we have to change this to the forward harmonics for continued uh price action lower which gave me 740.45 dipping below there uh then just coming back again closing slightly above the five minute rotation zone watching the 15 minute at that point to see if we can get a sustained move above the 15 minute it could not and then rolling over another move down Nice 15 minute pausing bar, 737.63. Really liking that area. Uh, was watching that key area with this little prior resistance coming support ledge in this. So here's, I'll just mark this off real quick. 
here's the area I was watching with that cluster for a potential reversal. This little area based off pure price action and you had the cluster in the middle and that's the level that held. Now what caught my eye going into the close or after lunch pattern, this was another, this was a, we had double top of four, double bottom. This qualified and it's reversing this move. You gotta make sure they're reversing a move. If they're not reversing a move, then it's a no-no because double tops and double bottoms have to reverse the moves and at least the first and second targets have to be in the candle bodies. Now for this one being at the end of the day and a shorter move, I use the conservative targets. That would be from the shorter leg up. So this were, was the conservative targets. Okay, giving me a 742.42 area, 743.27. And the first two targets were within this move. The last target was within the wick, but you can still use that as long as the first two targets are within the move. Running up there and actually then going to our 747 level again. But just showing you that those are the tar were the targets for the double. So... That's the way that looks. Those were the intraday moves. And again, these doubles you I showed you on a five-minute chart, they are valid on all time frames, same level, same, same levels, same everything. Just because I'm showing them on a five-minute time frame, whether you're using 15, hour, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, it doesn't matter. Same targets, same way they're trading. Tomorrow. Uh, but you can guess the level first minor level you can watch is this little resistance shelf right here uh, 745 about 60 Yeah, 745 60 you get above there then I'm targeting uh, the 747s above 747 minor 748 43 major more, I mean, major on a minor scale because this is off a five minute chart. 749.77. I'll be watching 749.77 to about 751 as the major resistance zone above there. 754, where we topped out today. And then above there, these levels still saying the same. If you want tighter levels above here with this pullback, that's one area. Again, we teach the reverse harmonics so it's backwards in time and these are the minor levels we already have the major levels from yesterday which the major clusters at 760 so this is giving you the minor levels coming up through here you can watch 756 73 759 essentially so 759 to 760 is if we break above yesterday's or today's high sorry today's high that formed this mini double uh, 759 to 760 is my major target area. Let's go through the other time frames. Uh, 15 minutes has, has gone garbage because it's flat. Uh, support on a support level, we start breaking down. I'm going to be keying off about 738. Eight, uh, let me mark this. This little candle body support ledge. So overall, my my reversal zone to watch for any bullish moves would be about 736.50 to about 738.50, and then I'd fine-tune that tomorrow. That's my first key area of support. We break below 736.43, 734.18 minor, major 732 essentially, and then 730. And I'll use any of these pausing bars to then help refine it. I'll... Uh, one hour, the rotation zone's gone flat, so that's no help. And then four hour, we're holding on the four hour rotation zone. Remember, we're still in that bigger channel pattern. So on a bigger time frame, on the four hour time frame, I'd be watching about 729 to 730. You get a close below 729, I'll start watching then for the bigger pullback. Uh, that will be key to further market weakness. Just not liking this price action. It, it seems very, very labored at this point. Yesterday's rally, we had the broad market rally picking everything up. Today, it was just a weak follow through. It was weak sauce, weak sauce. Uh, 
daily rotation zone, we just listed 720, you know, 729 to 730. If we have another weekday, just pay attention if it does close below 725 because we get a close below 725. That will start negating this uh, little rally candle. Then I will start watching again for the bigger pullback towards the lower end of this upwards rising channel. But let's just say how tomorrow plays out. I need, I'm not bearish yet. I need some price action to confirm. It's just getting more and more i'm uh, i'm gonna make sure i don't have any just bullish blinders on based off today's price action so i have for you on tesla and i'll talk to everyone later bye for now